Hello my lovely people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jen. If this is the first time that you are laying your eyes on this beautiful girl, thank you so much for stopping by my return subscribers. I love you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing. You are so kind. Thank you so much. So, uh, Governor Chioma Oti uh, came over to over here. Governor of Abia State came over to <clears throat> United States and he happened to come to over over here where everybody went and saw him. And the man gave detailed of what Igbazu did in Abia State. How up to today, he commissioned a place where he said it's Abia Airport that they have not seen. So he put up on this video. What? Talking about corruption, <coughs> I had uh, set up a forensic audit uh, as soon as I took, uh, took over last year in Abia. And um, so that there won't be any argument, I called in uh, one of the top three audit firms in the world. And not too long ago, they turned in their report and some of the things in the report are frightening. So, some 9.3 billion naira was paid to seven contractors for contracts that were not executed at all up to today. Another 15.9 billion, almost 16 billion, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting documents anywhere in the state. Another 12 billion was paid to two contractors for contracts that do not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25, 2020. And that is almost four years. Paid to some contractor for the construction of Abia State Airport. We have spent time trying to locate the airport. <laughs> um, up to now, we have failed. In fact, one of my aides told me the other day that maybe we are using uh, native intelligence to look for the airport that we should seek artificial intelligence. <laughs> So as we continue to look for airports, we have also involved security agencies to help us search. And uh, so that's just an example of uh, what typically happens. And uh, when you juxtapose that uh, with pensions that we are lying unpaid for about 10 years and uh, salary areas, just one on this heading, the 10 billion that was spent to build a non-existent airport was exactly the amount of money that our government used to take off the pension areas. And after this video came out, internet was about to break. Everywhere was shaking eh, all over the place. Ikbazu de this Criminal Ikbazu came out. Came out to answer back. All he was able to come out to say is that everything that a, a, a governor said was a lie. That everything governor said was a lie. I have been trying to mind my business. This is his word, Ikbazu's word. 
I have been trying to mind my business and not to um, uh, mingle with their, their administration. I don't know why he's calling all this or that. Everything that he went to United States to say is a lie. And he didn't bring evidence of what the man said. The man said plain, straight up, and said that you come, you said that how many billions of naira that you put out and said it's for Abia Airport. They have looked everywhere. They cannot find the airport. They said even now they have to go and find China. Even they have to go find China or find America to find it. Maybe ordinary eye cannot see the airport. You commissioned many, many things that he listed out there. And only for his supporters to come out and say, uh, if what you think that uh, he did this or that or that, he embezzled this or that, that what you should take him to uh, uh, EFCC or take him to court or sue him, whatever, whatever. You know, in every rambling that he said, I agree with this one. Mm -hmm. I agree. My governor, my able governor, they want him Jemono. They are and Allah, I cannot leave this man. This this man. This man is too fine. Mm -hmm. Hey God, I support for you to bring all these things that you said. Bring it. Bring all the evidence out because now they are trying to make you a lie. They are trying to make you a liar and do not allow these criminals to make you a liar because you're a fine man. Do not allow these people eh, to call you a thief. To say that you came to America to deceive people in America. Because they think that the age that we are in now, that people can deceive us. No, I need you, please. We need you. We need you to bring all those things so that you can shut them up. Finally, so that you can say, okay, you want evidence, right? This is the evidence. EFCC, we gone after this man. EFCC, ask him where the airport is. EFCC, ask him all these things that he commissioned, where are they? All these contracts that he gave, where are they? Where, 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 from where? So that's, please, my able governor, please bring all these things out. Too. Bring it out because if you don't bring it out, they will be making you like you are lying. Like what you're saying is uh, just you just want to come and show up in show off in America. You don't have to show off. You have shown enough evidence. The road, the light, the the uh, area, area market. You have shown enough evidence to show that uh, you are doing work. Show us this one. You paid pension. The pension that you paid that they were not able to pay. All they were doing is... Please bring out that evidence. Uh, that is... Uh, I, I, I cannot wait to see it. I will, I will be glued on television to see where how you will bring it, this evidence. Please go to EFCC and submit all these things that you were able to find to EFCC. Carry everything that you were able to and give it to yes because his criminal people have started to say if you say you have evidence of everything that you said you should bring it out and and give it to EFCC please I know you have evidence because this man did absolutely nothing for Abia people this man all he was doing is just to work for himself all he was doing is just carry his big stomach and be dancing every please 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 we are begging you. This is a plea to, to my able governor to please bring out all these things so that these people will be put to where they really, really belong. Especially now that EFCC has started finally, hopefully, they have started going after, um, hopefully, if they will get the Ayabelo they say they're looking for. I don't know where they're looking for. Him. Please, we are begging you, please bring all this evidence and give it to EFCC and let them go after all the people that owe us money in any way. Because you need money. You need a lot of money to do the project that you are doing. Don't let them call you a thief. Don't let them make you a liar. Bring all these things and show it so that they can bring the money. You have so much in your plate and there's no money to do it. Why they are sitting on the money? Just... 
if you keep quiet and they eat all this money, you are not able to probe, probe them. Uh, me, I will not be happy with you. I will not be happy with you. All the people that you know and you have the evidence that have taken our money, I beg you, show them. Show them out, I beg. Because things, bad things cannot continue to uh, happen in our country. People will just keep taking us uh, as a rider, as a... Even in the front of us, in the morning, in the night, and in the evening, like we are stupid. We are not stupid. Please show that we are not stupid by showing this evidence that you came here and told us. We are so proud of you. We support you in every corner of the way. As they come after you, they are coming after all the Abians, and all the Abians will not let them get away with it. From me to you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.